What's happening, guys? Welcome to this episode of the Kingdom Hearts Walkthrough. Today, we are still playing through Atlantica and have just witnessed uh, Ariel's. Uh, not really abandoning, but she's joined up with Ursula for the time being to head over and. Well, we don't know what they're doing yet, but. We all know that it's going to be like the movies, or we're going to expect something like that. So, you know. So we gotta go now. We gotta go back to the palace. Uh, that's where we're headed right now. Or after we clear these guys up, but we're gonna head over to the palace because the palace is where the story continues. And hey guys, the finale is next episode, so we got some boss fights there. It's not really a. Uh, it's kind of tough. Kind of tough boss fight. Cutscene. I think the keyhole they seek is somewhere in the palace. Now, my dear, if you can take me there without your daddy knowing, I can help you get to these other worlds you long for. I like how they have that whole dark scene and they start with Under the Sea. Seriously? <laughs> Uh, it kind of beats the mood of what's happening right now. Yeah. Uh, a little spoiler alert, uh, in Kingdom Hearts 2 and Chain of Memories, Atlantica really is in there as a fully playable level. It's more of a minigame type thing in Cage 2 and in After Memories, I think it's in there. Um, so, you can see how important this part of the plot actually is. Uh, the only purpose I think it actually serves is just getting rid of Ursula from the evil council place thing. That's about it, I think. Not too much else going on for this entire episode. So you got to some trash, and Donald leveled up. whoop de doo whoop de doo Donald. whoop de doo Okay, so that didn't take long at all, and we're almost there. And no, no, we got these big fish thingies. There, what they're called, and they carry three screwdrivers. 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 Shoot, how did I forget that? Anyways, they're big money droppers, so it's good to get some money. And a screwdriver right here. He's almost done. And I do believe we're in the cutscene when we go back into the castle, so I will see you after that. <laughs> the trident is mine at last! And I couldn't have done it without your help, my dear. Ursula, no! I didn't want this! Why not? Aren't you tired of following your dear daddy's orders? Oh, yes. We had a deal, didn't we? Time for a little journey to the dark world of the Heartless. We cannot find the keyhole. The keyhole is not here. What? Why, we have company. I'm afraid you're a little late, handsome. <laughs> The Trident. We must get it back. Come on, let's go. Wait, I'm going with you. My father is hurt and it's all my fault. I have to stop Ursula. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm right behind you, Ariel. The Heartless have a world? That doesn't sound too pleasant at all. Uh, you see what those things look like? Oh my gosh. How do they, like, if they do have their own world, then, like, how do they, like, 
change to like the this world, the world of the lights, I believe it's called. Hmm. That would be a nice part of the of the Kingdom Hearts 3, you know, to go to the to, the, to their world and close it off so they can't ever come back out again. Cause they're in every game except Birth by Sleep, I believe. So that would be that would be pretty interesting point for the next game. I would really be interested in going over there. That would be pretty fun to play through as well. So see what happens. You know, never know what's gonna happen this series. I swear the amount of stuff they can come up with just to keep the franchise going. I mean, okay, Kingdom Hearts this game, understandable. Chain of Memories, understandable. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, understandable. Days makes sense only because of Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, then they have Birth by Sleep. I mean, how do you start off? Uh, uh, why, why wasn't that the first game? Does that make sense? I mean, it's, if this thing was as planned out as well as it should have been planned out, they should have made that game first and then proceeded after that. But no, they're working all over the place. And then I believe they have a uh, Dream Drop Distance coming out. So yeah, the whole tracking of the of the franchise is pretty ridiculous. And now we have uh, what are they keep things called the, the mushroom thingy, the mushrooms. So we have these things now, and so this may take a while. So um, hmm. what would be a good Kingdom Hearts three? Uh, nobodies have been stopped, I believe, after Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, the threat of Xehanort is coming again, I believe. Xehanort, Zemnis, what's his face? Um, you guys learn about that later. The whole, I'll go, that's a really, 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 really long thing going down with that. And, yeah, it's going be a pretty interesting game. So, anyways, what I was doing, I was getting Thunder, thunder Gems, I believe they're called Thunder Gems, yeah. Because they are increasingly difficult to get. I don't know why I didn't get any earlier. Well, that's right. I couldn't do it because I didn't have thunder yet. Right. Deep Jungle. Remember that? I couldn't, I couldn't get that yet. So we're just going to be keep re we're just gonna keep repeating this whole series of fights and stop fighting. Because we got to go and finish this episode so we can get to the boss fight and finale next episode it should be really really awesome for you guys yeah I mean hmm. Hmm. so we're gonna go over to the undersea valley and we're going to we gotta catch the dolphin again that's what we have to do we have to go and catch the dolphin because the dolphin knows all not really check it out fire clam I'm not heartless what does the Heartless World look like? This is gonna bug me to be up to now. So do they have like a like neutral state and then do they then like form to their environment or something? The purest Heartless would probably have to be the Shadow, the Dark Ball, the Dark Onions as I call them. And the invisible. We haven't seen Dark Ball or Invisible yet, but we'll see them soon. Not soon, soon, but we'll see them. Oh yeah, we will see them already. Oh yeah. Oh, they, the the Dark Balls don't come until. I want to say Hollow Bastion. Invisibles don't come until the last level. Fire! Oh, how'd I miss? Boom. What we get? Missile shard. Aha. Okay, we need the dolphin now. Or the dolphin shark thing. It should be a, should be a dolphin, but it looks kind of like a shark. Hmm. Could an arrow have no ability where you summon the dolphin? That'd be so much easier. Just get into an area where there's no fighting, and summon the dolphin. Oh, that's why it doesn't work, because we're surrounded by squids. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, don't die there. 
Okay. Just going through the game. But yeah, after that cutscene, we're gonna go back to the valley, clear out any mobs that are here, and find the dolphin thingy and go back to the graveyard. I'll show you guys what to do after. Once we get there, I'll show you guys what to do. It's about 10 minutes, 10 and a half minutes to go right now, so it, we should almost be there, I would think. No, no doll didn't die again. Darn it! It's a stupid second chance. Y'all didn't have that. Hey, level up. Awesome. Wow, that was a bonus. I did not expect that. That was that was pr that was pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, I, I really can't do anything here. I mean, uh, if it wasn't here, I might have actually equipped a new ability. But since we're not, uh, hey, dolphin, 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 I was scared it was going to run away, and if it ran away, we would have to go fight more Heartless. Now I feel like fighting more Heartless, so we caught a ride on the Dolphin Express. Dolphins! Yeah! Woo! And we are at the Currents, and we're back over here. Sweet! And um, one, one little note. Oh great, look who's here. Our old friend Sharky. Uh, I'm gonna go out fight again. What is nah. Oh my goodness. It's like it's like fighting. Oh, what's the face? Sabor over again. Do you guys remember Sabor from Deep Jungle? Yeah, I like how we get to fight the animals that from the movies. It's kind of fun. Because they animals, yet they are not heartless. Just imagine this game with just the animal villains from the game. What kind of fun would that be? Woohoo! I win, you lose. Give me some items, dude. Hey! Aha! There they are. Gives us items for beating him. That's so awesome. I wish all bosses were like that, but no. Just the mini bosses. Notice this. There's a little crack back here. You push, the, yes, Sebastian, push the button, and you are golden. It's a little ship back there by the big rock. You can't miss it. Yeah. It's lit. I mean, well, kind of makes sense. No search ghosts before they find someone to kill. They have a. Uh, they are yellow because they can't see anything. When they see you, they go red alert, which means oh no, it's battle time. I really like fighting here. It's a really creepy environment. There are very few places I do approve of fighting. I don't approve of fighting. And this just happens to be one of them. I mean... So you want to go the right way. There's a left turn and right turn. The left turn will take you over to Ursula's Grotto. And the right turn will take you to Cavern Nook. And the Cavern Nook is where we will prep for the fight next episode. Um, just about done for the day. Uh, CPU 30K. I'll see you guys next time.